What's up, YouTube fam? This is your boy, Charles Enoch, and we're back with another Invest in Myself video. Today, we will be talking about how to build up your credit so you can obtain a credit card or a line of credit so you can start your velocity banking. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been watching my videos and you guys have the cash flow, but you have a low credit score, maybe even no credit. So you guys are discouraged of even starting the velocity banking method. So I'm gonna have some steps outlined to teach you guys how to build up your credit so you can obtain the credit card and line of credit so you can start your velocity banking. So I got the whiteboard up in the back. Um, let's get down to business. I'll teach you guys how to get these credit cards and lines of credit within the year and let's build up. All right, and before we jump into this video, first thing I want you guys to do, especially if you've seen a couple of these videos, subscribe, 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 and like the video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps a brother out build his channel. All right, so we're gonna get straight right into it. Uh, we have low credit score, Larry, and his income is 2,000, expenses 1,800. His cash flow is 200. So Larry, he does have the cash flow of around $200 to get started with Velocity Banking, but like many, Larry cannot get one of these lines of credit or even a credit card. So he's kind of stuck with that low credit score. So we're gonna help low credit score Larry out, obtain a credit card and a line of credit so he can start doing his velocity banking. Now we always have to remember the purpose of getting credit or a credit score is to obtain capital um, at a low interest rate. Now when you get the capital at an interest rate, we wanna to try to go for the lowest, but if you don't have the lowest, it's not going to affect you too tremendously here. If you are applying the velocity banking method and you know about finances, that's gonna get you more ahead of somebody that just has a greater credit score and a lower interest rate. For example, like we learned, if somebody has an 800 credit score and they have the lowest interest rate um, on some type of loan, if they're just making extra payments, they're going to pay it off slower than somebody that may have a lower credit score, a higher interest rate, but they're using the velocity banking method. So we need to keep this in mind. We're just trying to get you in the game so you can start doing velocity banking. So we're just gonna run through some quick, simple uh, factors of what affects your credit score here. So number one, we do have payment history which makes, about, makes up about 30% of your credit score. So are you making payments on time? Number two, we have credit utilization, which counts for about 30% as well. So keeping your credit card usage um, at around under 30%, not having too, too much debt as well too, um, affects your credit utilization. Then we have credit history. How long have you had your accounts open? The longer you have your accounts open, the better your credit history will be. So you really don't ever wanna close like a credit card or anything, even if you don't use it, just don't use it. And then number four, the types of credit that you have affect your credit score. It's about maybe 10, 15% um, that affects it. So the types of credit that you can get, loans, credit cards, mortgages, lines of credit, all that plays a factor into your credit score, but it's very minimal. It's something that you don't really need to worry about and try to get every single type of uh, loan possible. And then number five, we have credit inquiries, which counts for about 10 or 15% as well. So every time you apply for that credit card or a loan and they do that hard credit inquiry, um, that counts against your credit score. So you just don't wanna have too many of those. So now that we have the basic knowledge we will get into the steps on how to build your credit so that you can start getting the lines of credit and the credit cards to start your velocity banking and pay off your debt 
quicker and faster at an accelerated rate. All right, so let's go over these steps to help low credit score Larry. So step one, we are going to the bank or credit union and we're getting a secured credit card. Now what a secured credit card is, is when you give the bank or credit union collateral, so pretty much money out of your pocket and the money that you give the bank or credit union, they're gonna give you a credit card. Now, when you use money on the credit card and you fail to pay it off, um, they have your money, so they would just take your money and it's even. That is a secured credit card. Now, when we're searching for secured credit cards, here are a couple things that you wanna ask the banks or the credit unions. First, will I get my deposit back when the credit card is unsecured. Second, when the credit card is unsecured, will it continue with my credit history? Meaning that I don't have to apply for an unsecured card, which starts your credit history over on that card. So they would delete the secured card out and then they would put an unsecured card in, meaning that your credit history starts all over. We don't want that. Last thing we want to know is, can you increase your credit limit for the secure credit card? Meaning that if I have extra cash flow, can I just give you the cash flow? You put it onto the credit card and my credit card limit is higher. Now, what Larry's going to do, remember he has a $200 cash flow. So what Larry's going to do is he's going to go to the bank, give the bank $200, the bank is gonna give him a secured credit card. Now, what Larry's going to do, he's going to use the credit card. He's only gonna use 30%, remember credit utilization is only 30% of the $200. So, you know, he's gonna get like gas or get like some little bitty groceries and he's gonna pay right on off. This is gonna help him with his payment history um, as well too. So Larry's going to do this for six months. He's going to just get some gas for the month, pay it right on off. He's going to do that for six full months. Now, step two, what Larry's going to do, he's going to go to the bank again. Now, remember, he has $200 cash flow, so for six months, he would have an extra $1,200 in his bank account. What he's going to do is go to the bank. He's going to give the bank $1,200 to increase his secured credit card. Now his secured credit card has a $1,400 credit limit. So now when we look at our credit utilization, 30% of 1,400, we can put more on the card. So what Larry's gonna do after that, he's going to do the same method that he's been doing. He's gonna use 30% of the 1400 to pay off some bills, get some groceries, some gas, and pay it right on back. He's gonna do that for six months. Now, we're gonna to go to step three. After the full year, after the next six months, what he's going to do is, he's gonna to go to the bank. He's gonna say, hey bank, I've had your car for the full year. I've been making payments on it in full all the time. Since I had a $200 credit limit for six months and the $1,200 credit limit for six months, can I please get an unsecured credit card? The bank's gonna say yes. So what the bank's gonna do, they're gonna give him his $1,400 of cash back to him and then they're still gonna give him the credit card. So now the bank has given you $1,400 of capital because they're not using your money as collateral now. So now you have an unsecured credit card. So now, since they gave you the $1,400 back, and remember, you still been having $200 cash flow. So if we do 200 times 12, because that's the whole year, we should have $2,400 of savings. What we're going to do next, we're going to go down to step four. We're going to go to another bank or credit union and ask for an unsecured line of credit. Now, why would we go to another bank and credit union for an unsecured line of credit? 
The reason why we would do that is because the bank or credit union where we're at, they have given you capital already. So when you ask for more capital, a line of credit, they're going to take into account the $1,400 that, they that they've already loaned you and they won't loan you as much for a line of credit because they've already given you capital. Now, when we go to the other bank, then they have not loaned you capital. So they're going to loan you more capital right off the top. So since we've been paying our payments on time, payment history should be looking pretty good. Credit utilization should be looking excellent. We have built credit history because we have credit for the full year. Now, we don't really have to worry about in regards to types of credit and our number of credit inquiries is very little. So our credit score should be pretty decent, you know, in between maybe that 680, 700 credit score. And this should get us an unsecured line of credit. Now you are ready to do your velocity banking. You're not discouraged anymore. And now you can start paying off them debts accelerately, fastly, quickly. Now, if step four does not work, we would probably want to go to a different bank or credit union. Now, if we're seeing that we can't get an unsecured line of credit yet, what we're gonna do is go to step five. Now, for step five, we're gonna use our $2,400 that we have saved up, and then we are gonna get a secured line of credit. So we're giving the bank $2,400 of collateral, they'll give us a line of credit. Now, we can start our velocity banking. So you would start your velocity banking for about six months after six months of doing the velocity banking of chunking at your debt and then paying off the line of credit in full every month and repeating that cycle after six months you're going to go back to the bank and say hey i've used this secure line of credit for six months i've been paying it off in full they will give you your money back and now you have a unsecured line of credit now you have two debt weapons, two pieces of capital that you can do your velocity banking with and we're no longer discouraged and we are paying off that debt at an accelerated rate. We are investing in rental properties and the sky is the limit. So I hope this video has informed you and gave you the knowledge to build up your credit score at least so you can get your capital and lines of credit so you can start that velocity banking process. It is not that hard to get a credit card or a line of credit that is unsecured with a low or no credit score. Now, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Again, if you have not, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and help a brother out, build his channel up. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And I am trying to reach everybody with this here. These concepts are not widely known, and I really just want to spread this knowledge to everybody. But with that being said, I will catch you guys next week. Peace out.